Corey, just uh, what's the competition been like at safety? It seems like there's so many different guys that can be in the mix. What's it been like to this point in spring? Um, well, you know, as you know from past experiences, I've been here for three years, so you know, there's always very high competition at the safety level from Chris Smith to Javon Bullard and stuff like that. So, you know, it's always gonna be competitive. You know, we like to compete here at Georgia. Hey, uh, I'm just wondering, uh, you know, obviously it's your first time in here, so that's part of the leadership committee, I think, and everything to, to be a team spokesman. Yes. Uh, you and Julio, did you did you flip coins about it? And uh, is, it, is it something you've been aspiring to, to get in this position to where you're not only playing, but you're a leader on the team? Um, well, so I was, how I would say it is Julio, I mean, you know, he's nervous right now, so I decided to go first, <laughs> <laughs> but, um, getting this position right now, you know, my parents, my mom really crossed, like made the media training me since I was little. So as I've been growing up, she's been asking me questions because she's like, you're not going to go on TV and embarrass me. <laughs> <laughs> so that was one of her more, like her main things. <laughs> Corey, you talked a little bit about the safety rotation in battle, but I believe your cross training is star this spring as well. Talk us a little bit about that that transition and the learning curve at that position has to be pretty long. Um, well, I kind of played star in high school, mm -hmm. so I know like it's not the exact same as Georgia, but it's you know it's here and there the most dissimilar. So as I've been cross training, I've learned that like learning safety helped me learn star better and star faster as I'm, I'm continuing learning. Like I still mess up, everybody makes mistakes, but like we, like we were like, I don't know, like it's, it's good to be cross training and stuff, learning multiple positions and doing the best I can at every position. Yeah, and Corey, what you just said about your mom, it seems like she has always had confidence in you, high hopes for you. Just how has she and the rest of your family kind of supported you through these first couple of years in Georgia? Maybe it's been difficult sometimes not seeing the field as uh, as much as you would like. So my uh, my mom comes here every game, and um, I would say my family is a pretty athletic family. Like we, I came from an athletic family, so everybody holds high expectations for me as I've come to this level. And I would say like she's like my greatest like support role. She comes to every game. She comes to every she comes to every spring game since I've been here. So you know I love my mom. I hold everything dear to her. Yeah. Uh, new position coach in Javaris Robinson. What has he brought to sort of that safety star room and what have been your early impressions of him? Uh, I've known Coach T-Rock for quite a little minute now. Since I was a Florida kid, he was at Miami. So he recruited at Miami, then he's here at Georgia now. So I would say like, I've known him for a little bit. He's a cool coach. Him and Coach Muschamp has been co coaching together for at least, they said like 15 years. So they're pretty much the same person. Mm -hmm. Kirby last week said that uh, Jared Wilson runs faster than uh, some DBs, some tight ends. How many DBs do you think he might be faster than? No, none of us. <laughs> <laughs> well, he is fast. He is fast for O-lineman, but I don't think he's not running any of those DBs. <laughs> you talked about Julio a little bit. Obviously, you came in here with, with him and, and Daylin and, and all of you kind of part of the same secondary class. Talk about your relationship with them a little bit and how, how good it's been to be able to be out there on the field with those guys and, and the way you've seen all of you develop kind of together. Yeah, so Dalen Ever is my roommate. So we've been roommates for the last three years. And um, my mom calls him his, her, like her nephew. So like we have built a really good relationship over these past three years. You know, he was an IMG kid from Florida. But as we came to know each other, we got to get to understand each other better and stuff. Everyone talks about Javon Bullard coming up in the NFL, the, the kind of heavy hitter, and he has a big hit in the uh, Peach Bowl. Everyone remembers that. Who's the biggest hitter or hardest hitter now in secondary? Hardest hitter in the secondary? Um, I would like to say, like, everybody hits hard in our secondary. Like, you know, Georgia, you come to hit, you come to tackle, you come to be physical. So I would say everybody's a hard hitter in our secondary. One guy. Uh, I can't. I, I, I don't have, like, a, you know, I don't have a clear answer for that. Ja'Cory, you're in a heated battle for a, for a starting job, for a chance to play um, at, at safety. What's it going to take for you um, to, to win that job, to become a, you know, to earn a big role in this defense? Uh, you know, my motto is to keep competing, to keep growing every day. So I, I take it day by day, you know, see how everything ends up. Yeah, Ja'Cory, if I, if I remember correctly, you came up here mid-June 
in, in your high school season and you've earned an offer after a visit. Within three weeks, you commit to the University of Georgia. So, A, what did you do here to walk away with an offer when you were camping? And B, why was it such a quick turnaround like I want to be a Georgia Bulldog? Okay, so, you know, my high school career is very like, I didn't really start getting big offers to the end of my career. Mm -hmm. So I really was like, what is weighing my other options? I know I had a few visits in line, then I got offered from Georgia, Florida, and different other big schools. And I was like, scratch that. I'm gonna take a visit to these schools and they wanna do an in-person workout. And I remember at the time it was Coach Muschamp and Coach Adai. And we had um, went in the indoor deal, a little one-on-one workout. And I just remember after my workout, all the coaches came down and started like, like, like great, like trying to meet me and stuff. And after that, we went up there with Coach Smart, and I got to coach, know Coach Smart a little bit more. And I was like, he's a very genuine person. Like, I feel like I can be here. Like, this is home. Like, he make me, he made me feel like Georgia, Georgia is my home. So from that point on, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna be a Bulldog. Thank you, Coach. Um, what's been a KJ Bowden's learning curve so far? What's been your impressions of him thus far? Um, you know, KJ is a very good athlete. He's very very fast, very athletic. So I know coming up in this program, like he's going to be a very good player. What about your impressions after a couple of weeks of practice have been of Coley Young, who's coming from Miami's experience, obviously has size, you know, what, what's it like uh, going up against him in his practice? Um, you know, it's Georgia. We always have some big, it's, it's very competitive here. Like you don't understand, like, we're competing every day. Everybody's trying to get the very best. So competing with Kobe is, you know, is another addition to like be better in the season. So we go against him every day. So I don't think the season will be much easier. Um, obviously, a guy you're you're partially competing with a little bit, but Janelle Guerra, obviously a guy you're also working with at Star. You know, what can you say about his athleticism and, and his ability, uh, especially in that Star role? Oh, uh, Janelle is very fast. He's very quick too, and he is like I said. You know, George has a bunch of heavy hitters. And he's one of them. He's definitely one of them. And I wish the best for Janelle. I know everything's going to be great when he comes in comes in and play. Jacoro, what was it like learning how to play safety here at Georgia? And at what point did you finally feel like, okay, this is starting to work. I'm starting to pick up what is expected of that position? So in high school, I really didn't yeah, really play safety. I played like more of the offensive side of the ball. Then I was like, I'd rather hit big people to get hit by big people. So I came to the conclusion I wanted to play safety. But, um, Learning safety here is very difficult. You know, there's a bunch of ins and outs of our defense that are quite difficult for me to understand so I didn't play the position at the time. But things started clicking around like last year. I started, it started to get in like a groove to see how I was going with it, you know. From that point, from that point on, I've been growing and growing and growing to see how everything's been changing for me. Yeah, Coach Mark always talks about like developing on special teams got done talking about developing on special teams. Is that something you did at all in high school and then you come here and like special teams is a massive thing. So is there a learning curve on even how to play special teams? Yes, really, yes, here. Um, in high school I didn't do kickoff, but I did do kick return. So, but I was a returner, so it was different from getting the ball than blocking. But as I got here, you have to learn to like address blocks and shed blocks, especially when people are bigger than you and coming to the SEC. So yeah, I would say like, it is a bit of a learning cur curve learning special teams here. To ask you about another IMG corner, um, obviously Elvis Robinson, you know, from what you've been able to see of him and, and, and during practice and stuff, what can you say to, to his abilities as a corner and how have you seen him practice and, and, and develop so far through spring? Uh, Ellis is very long and fast. He's a very lanky corner. So I would think like coming up through this program is going to be the best for him. Any more questions? Tell your mom you did good. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you. Right. Thank you, Corey. Thanks, Thanks Corey. Thank you. Nice to meet you.